In this movie, I'm going to talk about something called Breakouts. It's a feature of Adobe Connect that a lot of people don't even know about, and I love it. I use it all the time. So it would be the same as if you were doing a traditional classroom training and you wanted to break people up into small groups and have discussions. You would maybe gather their chairs around and everyone would talk privately and then you would come together at the end and debrief and everybody would share their thoughts. It's the same kind of thing, but we're doing it in a virtual world. So we set up things called breakouts. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to have a layout set up exactly how you want each of your breakout rooms to look. For example, you might want to have a bunch of people sitting around talking about a concept and you want someone to have the ability to share their screen. Maybe somebody has a wireframe or something that they want to share with everyone. You can put in a blank share pod like you're seeing right now on my screen and that way everyone can take turns and go in there and click on that and share their screen. That would be one reason to do it. Another one might be that if you had some notes that you want people to read, you could put those notes in the form of a PowerPoint or a PDF in a SharePod and have it already in the breakout room for them. But I'm just going to show you the basic concept today. I'm just going to take you through setting up a new layout that would be perfect for your um, for your breakout room and then we'll go in and I'll show you how to start breakouts. So first of all, I'm going to go in here and make a new layout just so that you know how to do it. I'm going to click the little plus sign down here at the bottom. I'm going to tell it I want to make a new blank layout and I'm just going to call this one breakout. So I'm just making a bland, brand new blank, if I could talk, a blank, <laughs> let me start again, a brand new blank, um, uh, whatever, layout. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my attendee list up here so I can resize it. I always grab on the lower right. I find that's easiest. And then I might want to have a chat pod here for everyone to be able to communicate. And it made it enormous, so I'm just going to resize this down here in the corner. And there's a little bit of a snap, so it kind of helps you to make things even. So I'm just going to make this easy and put that there. And I'm just going to add one big share pod so they could use this to either share their screen or I could throw some slides in here later. But this is the basic layout that I want the breakout room to look like. So the next thing I do is I go to my attendee list. I have three buttons at the top. I'm viewing right now what's called attendee view. And you can see when you hover over it, it gives you the name. I'm going to choose the middle one which gives me breakout. Now it would be nice if I had some other people in here so I could show this to you a little bit better but for tonight since it's late um, I just have me but you automatically have three different breakout rooms set up. The main meeting is where it's kind of um, the main the main breakout room that, that you just end up in if you aren't really in the individual breakouts. So while other people are discussing things, if the teacher doesn't want to be in there listening, they can just wait in the main meeting room. So right now I'm going to click the little start uh, breakout button, but I wanted to point out this middle button is breakout room view. So it shows you all the different breakouts. I can easily add more over here if I need more. You get three automatically set up for you. When I click Start Breakouts, it's making the breakout rooms based on whatever layout I'm in. That's why I built this custom layout, and I'm going to click Start Breakouts. So right now, it came up and said in the upper right-hand corner, you're in a breakout session. So what I could have done is I could have put everyone into their breakout rooms uh, before we even start. And I can do that. I'm going to end it here for just a second to show you. So when I'm in this breakout room view, I can actually move people. And again, I just have myself. But for if you had maybe 20 people and you had four breakouts, so you want five people in each breakout room, before you even start the breakout sessions, you can put yourself into this breakout room view. It shows you all the different breakouts, and then you can hover over people's name and move them. So I'm putting myself into breakout three right now. Haven't started the breakout rooms yet, but that's an, if you turn to this view, 
I should say if you click to this view, then you're able to preset everyone into rooms before you even start. So let's say that everyone's, maybe someone else is teaching and I'm in the background. I can go in here and put everyone into those rooms, even though we haven't done anything yet. They're already, when I click start breakouts, they will be in their room already. So since I put myself in breakout three, watch what happens when I go to start breakouts. It comes up and says you're in a breakout session. Notice where I am. I'm in breakout three. Now a host can move around a presenter and an attendee cannot. Should say a presenter and a participant cannot. Only hosts can move around. So I can drag and drop people. I can hover over their name and move them. So here I'm going to move myself to the main meeting. So there, now I'm back in the main meeting room. So you could have someone floating back and forth into the rooms, answering questions or checking on people. So that's the advantage of, that the host has. They're able to move back and forth in the breakout rooms. So when we're done with our collaborating, and by the way, I can send messages. There's a place right here. I can broadcast a message to everyone. By the same token, my uh, participants, I'm gonna close this right here. My participants can also send Send me a message there's a little red uh, gold X up here where they can broadcast something that goes to everyone but then the host would also see it so if they're if they're in breakout three and they're having a problem they can broadcast a message the host or the teacher will see it and they can go and take care of it right away when you're done in the breakout session you just click end breakouts and you go back to this initial view and you're right back to where you were Breakouts are a great way if you have a large group of people to get them to break up into different groups. You can give them different concepts to work on or give everyone the same one. It's a really great feature of Adobe Connect and I'd love to see people using it more.